What's going on guys? Today I'll be changing a few parts on my Beretta Model 92A1 here. Uh, I'll be changing out just the uh, guide rod assembly, the captured spring guide rod assembly here from a polymer to a metal one. The standard Beretta hammer will be changed to the Beretta skeleton hammer. And the Beretta grips will be changed to the Wilson Combat Ultra Thins here. Uh, these parts don't look too clean, it's because I actually have had them on this for a while already and I just replaced them for the uh, purpose of the video. Uh, first things first, we'll verify that the handgun is clear and the firearm is indeed clear. To start off, we're going to be taking off the slide and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. To remove the slide, first ensure that it's in a closed position. You have a small button here with spring pressure. You're going to be holding that down. While doing that, take this lever, turn it about 90 degrees here. The slide should then just slide off. Easy as that. Then the uh, next thing to do would be to remove the old buffer spring and guide rod assembly and replace the new one. What I've noticed is the steel guide rod is actually a little bit shorter than the polymer one, so it fits in a lot easier. It's completely normal. You're gonna wanna make sure you're putting this uh, the part that moves up front just into this hole here and securely place it onto the barrel like so. Now with that moved aside, the next thing we'll be doing is removing the old grips. To do that, there are two screws on each side of the grips. Uh, you'll just want to remove those and then pop the grips right off. Once you have the grips off, just make sure you don't lose the crush washers in here. Um, the Wilson Combat grips, they, they provide new rubber washers. So uh, the only thing you have to take note of is you gotta keep the old screws unless you bought new ones, but they'll provide washers, not screws. Next thing you'll have to do is uh, to remove the hammer. There's a small pin in here. You're gonna take that out with a punch and a hammer. It's a little bit tricky to do. What I did when I first removed it is I had the firearm grip pressed down and punched it out because this little lanyard loop here is also under spring tension. Uh, you'll see that once we actually take it apart. So I'll be punching that out meanwhile, keeping the firearm on the table like this just to ensure it doesn't fly out and hit me or go somewhere where it's gonna be hard to find. So once you take that pin out, you'll see that the lanyard loop, which is under spring tension, will just be able to come out along with the spring here. Just put those to the side. Um, I just removed the punch enough, so, or the uh, pin enough so that my punch was what was holding that lanyard loop in and then uh, pulled it out that way. So you don't need to worry about trying to get it started or anything like that since it already is. Next thing you wanna do here is remove the pin that's holding the hammer in place. But I can do that, it's a little bit tricky, but you should be able to remove that and remove your hammer. So obviously the first thing we will be doing is placing the new hammer in. To do that, uh, you'll want to place it close to the fully cocked position. You'll see as you move it to the cocked position, it opens up that uh, hole for that pin to go back in. So you just want to hold it back while you put that pin back in. Next thing you want to do is replace that spring and uh, lanyard loop. When you place the spring back inside, you'll want to get it around this rod that's in here. It's a little bit hard to see. 
Uh, it's on the bottom right there inside that hole now. You'll see it a lot easier when you are uh, actually doing this. You just want to make sure the spring gets around that and it's not off to the side or anything. If you do get this spring around the rod correctly, it should go in smoothly. It should be at about this level inside that hole. Next thing you want to do is place that lanyard loop back. Um, it's not necessarily going to go around the spring, but the spring is going to sit in that little dented area there. You want to make sure that you're aligning the hole in the lanyard loop, that smaller one, with the hole here in the side of the firearm that you had taken that pin out of. It's very easy to do. Just uh, look through here when you're putting it in, see when it's lined up, and uh, if the pin starts going in, that means you got in the right place. Once you've replaced that pin, made sure it's about even on both sides. The next thing to do is to put on the new grips. So, you'll just want to put them on. They should sit very firmly uh, where they should go. Place those new rubber washers there that Wilson Combat provided. And then set the new screws in. And there you have it. So we have our new grips on, our new hammer, and our new captured spring guide rod assembly. The next thing to do is place the slide back onto the frame and then function test. To reinsert the slide, you simply put the slide on front first through those tracks and you're just gonna push it all the way back on the 92A1. Once you push it back, you'll see that the lever here will automatically turn back to its original position. So to function test, just uh, let the hammer go. Make sure it goes back into both positions to make sure that we got the uh, hammer on correctly and that uh, spring in the grip there was inserted properly. Uh, also, just pull the slide back a few times. It's never a bad idea just to have a magazine of snap caps. I got like five of them in here. And I'll uh, usually just run them through, make sure everything works fine. So that's how you change the grip guide rod and hammer on the Beretta 92A1. Uh, the grips and the hammer are going to be the same on any 92 series handgun. Uh, just the guide rod's a bit different there. But that's all for you.